back in the 2000s, the early 2000s, there was a lot of fat shaming that went on, apparently. The Twitter world is all a buzz about this. People like Jessica Simpson got attacked for being overweight. Hmm. Renee Zellweger suffered, I believe. Um, Kate Winslet was another one. Remember, I remember she was objecting to the fat shaming that went on. And none of these girls were really heavy. No, but Jessica Simpson was a size four. Wow. It's really. <laughs> you yes. guys, it could be 2000 or 2023. Like, <laughs> yeah. fat shaming is rampant, and weight loss is a, an unhealthy, crazy obsession. Mm -hmm. We have a whole culture of people paying a lot of money to inject things into themselves to lose weight. And not, I'm not talking about people that should. I'm saying people, like every celebrity, you read your aggregate news, it's like, who's on this drug? Are they on the... Every day, that's all I but read I about. We were, people are obsessed. I thought we moved into body positivity. I mean, you have the Lizzo movement. You have all these... And I'm not just pointing her out because she talks about it so much. Um, I, I think we're and pretty... she recently said that she was thinking about leaving because even with all that positivity, she was She's getting still getting Well, if, so if, you are, if you think we've moved, you somebody needs to tell Donald Trump because when he's not fat shaming meatball Ron DeSantis, he's fat shaming <laughs> Chris Christie. And I mean, uh, frankly, as somebody who has struggled with her weight all the time, I can tell uh, Donald Trump, you gotta be careful who you fat shame. Yeah, brother. but but the, the thing about it is that women's bodies are always up for discussion. It seems right. to me. Right. Yes. I remember when uh, Oprah lost weight a long time ago. This yes. was, and her numbers dropped. Oh, her when number, she brought, the, she brought the big wagon out with the yeah. meat in it. Her ratings dropped. That was interesting. In well, other words, a lot of women don't want to see you losing weight, maybe. I don't women know. Women are held to different standards on virtually everything, and weight and image is obviously one. But I also remind people that beauty standards change, and that's why I, what I love about the body positivity movement, it's not just, like, big is good, skinny is good. It's what is you is good. I think of, like, yeah. the heroin chic in the 90s. I don't know if I like, can say that. but like heck is that? No, yeah, those right. two that words do not go together. I know, and that's you, what it was but called. also, like... Some people are actually born thin like that, but some of us are always going to have a chest and backside. But you know, and, like, you know what? There was anywhere. a time when people were really poor in the world somewhere, and the obese people were revered because that indicated that Roman you time. were eating yeah. and you were the, not poor. The, yes. the, the, when the, the poor are well, heavy, asked. then skinny is revered. Mm -hmm. That is a sociological uh, observation so that So you was mean made. it's not that I was born fat, I was born in the wrong time. Yes. Of, of, you, <laughs> yes. The thing is you were born well. I, I used to do this. <laughs> if, I born, if I had been born during the Rubens time, when, I would have been a model. That's right. I had that whole bit in my act about that one time. Oh, it would wow. be like you'd be a model, you know? What do you mean no dessert? I've got a sitting with Caravaggio in the morning. <laughs> Give me that can cannoli, <laughs> Is it more about what you, what you are comfortable with? I mean, if, if, if you love it, I love it for you. You know what I mean? Like, I, I was very open about my breast reduction and breast lift, and I got all these horrible messages about, you know, you looked fine, you looked fine. Well, those G babies that I was carrying around, I didn't want them anymore. Got rid of them. I'm a little small, perky C. Very happy <laughs> with myself. Yeah, it's, it, it, I love it for me. Well, you don't want to get not a telling anybody else walk to, around like a. Yeah, I'm not telling anybody else to do it. So I, I wonder why up, do people talk well, you know, about false expectations? To your point about this drug that everyone's taking, and it's multiple drugs. It's just that's the name that it's kind of like a yeah. Kleenex. Everyone's calling it Ozempic, but there's Manjaro, there's Wagovi, there's semi-glutides of any kind. Well, why do you object to that? I don't object to it. There are people that need it. In fact, Ozempic's a diabetes drug. It's yes. and, and the but. But the problem is there are people that are losing all this weight, coming out and saying, oh, I tweaked this, or I, I go to the gym a lot. Well, they're liars. <laughs> they're liars, but that's <laughs> they're liars. Like, literally the every real housewife. It's not life. transparent. And yeah. then other women who are Watch. sitting around saying, oh, I just have to go to Pilates, don't realize that someone's paying a lot of money to get drugs that they maybe <coughs> don't have available to them, they can't afford. But, but I think that's not really obesity bad. Obesity is also a huge that's problem right. for in the obese United people. States. I'm totally fine. Because with that. if actually yeah, the vanity problem. side uses it too much, there's going to be a shortage for like people who are diabetic. There is already. Need I like to deal love with having it. these two skinny minis fighting over who you know <laughs> about what. <laughs> people well, should I can say. tell you, I would not do that. Okay. <laughs> let, let me talk with a little authority here. <laughs> First of all, you would do it if you put on a lot of weight. Believe me, I'm you would. I'm a wellness person. We don't know the long-term effects of this. I actually am really big on learning to love. Do you do I... Botox? No. Would you? She's too I would do... She doesn't need but it yet. Botox is a little... To me, I'm not as concerned She'll with Botox. She'll get there. Trust me. Taking something that... No. I, listen, I, I think people, I think women and ten men years, have been years. lying about things they do to themselves for as long as there is, right? Hair plugs, Botox, plastic surgery, I weight admit loss. Listen, it. here's the problem. I say this a lot. People used to die when they were 40. 50 yeah. years ago, people, my, all my grandparents died at under 60. Really? Yes. Wow. Today, people live, I'm old now. 
and I look damn good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.